Hi everyone, I'm Susan Filan. First up on the docket, the case of missing honeymooner George Smith. His new bride, Jennifer, settled a lawsuit against the cruise line. And George's sister is here with us live with her family's reaction. Hi, Bree. How are you? Hi, Susan. We're hanging in there, thanks. Well, it's been a year now since your brother vanished from that cruise ship in the Mediterranean, and your family's come right out and said that they think your brother was murdered. The FBI continues to investigate this mysterious disappearance, even though they told his wife it would be months, not years, before this case would be solved. Take a listen. Do you think George is murdered? That's a good question. What do you think? I guess we'll see. Um, I'm looking forward to ending this investigation. I'm, I'm hoping um, the FBI said initially it'll be months, not years, and um, I'm going to remind them they have six more months because I'm hoping that they will come up with something. Joining me now is George Smith's sister, Bree Smith, and the Smith family. Yesterday was the one-year anniversary of your brother's disappearance. Can you tell us what this last year has been like for you and your family? Uh, it's it's been both devastating and and surreal for us. Um, you know, Susan, we were very private people before uh, before this happened to my brother. But we realized that in order to fight for George, we had to come out and and we had to be outspoken and we had to be forward and and pushing for answers for George. And you know, it took a lot out of my family and it continues to take a lot out of my family. But we will continue to push on for answers for George. We will not give up on him. And um, all we want is justice for George. Bri, I want you to take a listen to this statement from Jennifer, your brother's uh, wife. This is her talking. This has been the most difficult and challenging year of my life. I will always love George and cherish our time together. This journey has always been a matter of principle for me, and I know that George will be proud of what has been accomplished thus far in good faith as we continue to seek answers. The memory of George will always live on in my heart, that of our families and everyone who knew him. Bree, I know you're outraged that she settled. I, I, I know that you feel doubly betrayed once by his mysterious disappearance and secondly by the actions of his wife. Tell us why you're so upset. Why, why we're particularly upset, Susan, is when Jennifer uh, proposed to settle that lawsuit, she's also settling my parents' claims because she's administrator of the estate. And in settling my parents' claims in the wrongful death suit, she's cutting off our flow of information. We're not going to be able to depose the same witnesses that we would be able to in our individual claims lawsuit, which has been filed. And we just don't understand why you know, we were misled and deceived by Jennifer for all these months into thinking she would be filing a lawsuit suit, only to find out several hours before the public press release went out that she had settled my parents' interests without even informing them that she had. Right behind your back. Bree, would it be fair to say that what you want is to know what happened to your brother and maybe what Jennifer wanted was money and that's why you feel by settling this case, in your view, prematurely, you're not going to get the truth. You're not going to get the answer as to what happened. Well, we feel confident that we will get the answers to what happened. Unfortunately, we've had a put, bit of a roadblock put in front of us, and, and you know we have to think of ways around this. But we are confident we will get answers and justice for George. But it's, it's fairly clear, I think, that Jennifer was far more interested in her financial settlement and moving on with her life than my parents. All we want is Royal Caribbean to be held accountable. Bree, let me ask you, uh, is, it, is it fair to say that you think that perhaps Jennifer settled this case to avoid depositions because you think that she's covering something up. She knows more than she's told your family. She knows more than she's told authorities. And she does not want to have to face anybody under oath in a court of law or a sworn deposition. Well, I can't speak to the amount of information that she gave to authorities. I don't know if she has provided everything she knows to the authorities. But I do know that when we're still in contact with Jennifer, you know, up until three and a half months after my brother was gone, she told us that she did not want to be deposed either in a criminal case or in a civil case. And at the time, I thought this was very suspect. Um, but now I think the fact that she settled the lawsuit before she even filed is very suspicious, to be frank. Um, there, there's definitely information that she knows that she hasn't provided my family. And, and how painful and so hurtful that my brother's wife would not tell my parents and myself everything she knows about that evening. We have a right to know. We need information about what happened to George. I think that's the most important thing. You've got to know what happened. Take a listen. This is her statement. Take a listen to this. I want you to respond. This is her saying, my discussions with Royal Caribbean have been very open as well as extremely productive and informative. I appreciate Royal Caribbean's cooperation, sincerity, and efforts moving forward, which I believe will play a major role in helping all of us 
find closure. It's like a love fest between her and the party that she's suing. And if you listen to her statements over the year, they certainly didn't start out that way. And she's speaking for you for closure for us. Can you respond to that? Yes. Well, first of all, her press release that you were just reading from is in direct opposition to her testimony given under oath to Congress. And additionally, it is in direct conflict with the complaint, the actual lawsuit, which uh, Jennifer's attorney, Jim Walker, had given to our attorney when they were pretending like they were actually going to file the suit. And I just think, Susan, that it's amazing how a little bit of money can turn someone that's been so wronged into a poster child for Royal Caribbean and the cruise industry. Bree, my heart has always gone out to you and your family. I think you are one brave and courageous woman. Please pass my condolences to your mom and dad. Thanks for joining us. Thank Bree you, Smith, Susan. Brett Rivkin. Joining me Thanks. now.